everyone, just doing a little video for you today to update you on our postage. So postage is going super well, we have had all our testers done, um, we're receiving all 5 star reviews, everybody's getting everything within 3-4 to four days, um, our packaging has had really really good raving reviews so I'm really happy with that, we're trying really hard. Um, and in saying that I want to show you those plants that I sent out um, to myself to do a tester and how they're going now. So I would have seen, you would have seen in the last two videos, I told you guys that when I sent the first load of plants out, I kept them in a box here with my own name on them. And I just left them in the original packaging. I haven't watered them, I haven't touched them. I've left them in there in the dark box and I just take them out to see how they're going and then put them back in once a week. So we are on week three now. And here are the plants. So this was the Robusta that I showed you before, uh, not Robusta, she's a Ficus Elastica. Um, I think she is a uh, Sophia from memory, it's been three weeks, I forgot, what's that, what's that? But anyway, yeah, she's obviously a rubber tree. Now she has had some new growth, she's had this new leaf here as well, so for three weeks stuck in a box, not being outside, not watered in the same packaging mix. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy with those results. Like that's pretty, if I received that I don't think I would really notice if it was in a box for three weeks. So I'm pretty happy with that one. So, And this is our next girl. Now she's a little bit rougher. Um, she's still okay though. So if you can tell from the backside, she's very very flat. Now obviously that's because she's been um, in a postage box but I think once you gave her some water she'll be okay. We're also getting some new growth. If you can see in here, like there's a little curled leaf that's about to come undone. Um, there's not much dry air damage, which is pretty good, which I was actually really, really expecting. Um, and obviously because she's a prayer plant, she's down at the moment because she has been in that dark, dark box. Um, but yeah, for three weeks, I really would have thought that she would have died by now. So. That's absolutely no water, no attention, just stuck in a box at the bottom of my linen closet as if I've never even seen it. So that's for the week three. And our little last one is a little bit more damaged. Um, just ignore my dog here because he's trying to get the ball up in that, that cubby house and he knows if he stands around it, I'll give it to him. Anyway, <laughs> our little Pelosa. So she has got some... Dram uh, damage, uh, damage. So obviously it's very, very dry in this bag moss mix now. So if I can stick my finger, it feels really, really dry. Um, but in saying that, she does have some uh, new growth as well. So that's not too bad. I was really thinking she would go a lot worse. Um, and in saying that, remember it's been 14 days. Like especially since the prayer plants. A little bit more funny that little dry air damage for three weeks even like that leaf hardly has any it's not too bad like it's only one two three it's only about three leaves with major damage like one two three and the rest of her is fine so that's not too bad for three weeks I think like I think it's sort of it'd be annoying but <laughs> I really highly doubt that a three week weight is going to happen when we're doing three to four days but you know I think it's always good just to know just in case the absolute worst happens let's like test our flexibility and see how far we can um pack to make the plants as perfect as they are if something goes wrong so I also want to show you these girls here while I am here um just for a little bit of a close-up so you can understand what you're going to be getting um this is our little lady valentine um, she is really, really, really cute. I think I love that pink colour. And I'm not really a like a pink girl or like a girl who loves the colour pink too much. But I really do like the pink plant. So she's grown like crazy. And she's obviously in a 140 mil pot. So all of our pots, uh, pot sizes are 140 mil. But obviously they won't come with the pots because they're bare rooted. But it's a sort of sized plant that you can expect. And our next one um, is another favourite and I've shown you guys before, I've showed you guys the extra large versions, but these are the minis, is our Kalitha Beauty Stars. Now if you have a look, she's got those little pink 
10 stripes on her um, and she is my favorite so we'll get a fair few of these and um, we are in the shortest stock of these ones so I'm going to try to pile up on them so we have heaps um, and I also really think that for a Kalitha these are quite easy so I've never had any trouble with them at all but yeah I just thought I would send you that little update and if you are on our cans or Dubbo page you would have been seeing our sales and hopefully you guys aren't too far away for postage we are just combining all the information now and I really 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 want it to be absolutely seamless so we are on our way to launching and I will announce uh, announce announce one launch date for everybody so everybody has a fair chance to get in I'm just really trying to streamline it and just make sure that absolutely everything is perfect and all plants all delivery or pickup transits are going to be absolutely on point by the time we launch so just a little bit more work to go and soon we will be posting all these guys all around Australia so I will see you then and I'll update you on launch date and we might even leave these guys in their packages for another week and we'll update you next week. See you later.